Alright, this is the unboxing and assembly of the aluminum can crushers that I bought on Amazon. It was about a hundred bucks. I'm going to show you all the parts. I got some time-lapse action happening here. We're just going to remove all the parts from the box and have a look like this. There's the air cylinder. Pretty nice. Here's the foot pedal controller. We see there's the ports. Looks oh, nice. Seems to function. Good. Here's the housing. Oops, that stuff fell out. Here's some tools and a bracket. Another bracket. Some tools. Those are the assembly tools that it comes with. So you also need a crescent wrench or something else. I used a few tools not even seen on camera. Here's the instructions. I'm going to set this housing pretty cool. Nice powder coated steel. I'm going to go through the instructions with you. Hit the space bar, pause at any point if you want to read any part of this. It gives you instructions. I actually messed up a little bit when I'm assembling it by putting lock washers on one of the brackets with the locking nuts and that wasn't necessary so I had to reverse that procedure. The, f the walk lock washers are for holding the pneumatic tube uh, to the housing. So pay attention to that. Here they show a picture of how it's supposed to be set up. It includes wall mounting brackets. As you'll see later in the video, I don't actually mount it to the wall. Make sure you have uh, air pressure greater than 80 PSI before pressing the foot pedal. Here we see a time lapse of me assembling the unit. I sped this along because in reality the video would take 25 minutes and I wanted to cut it down so you can just see the action happening but without uh, reality. See, so I had to take off those lock washers. That's what this part's about here. All right, now we're going to mount the end bracket to the air cylinder like this. I'm going to tighten those down. Those have lock washers there. Then we're going to use the remaining screws, or I mean um, bolts with the lock washers, and we're going to set them in to attach the main unit to the air cylinder, and then tighten it on with the included Allen wrench like that. I'm going to do them a little bit loose like this on the bottom then flip it over and do the other side. And the reason you do this is to make even torque tension. And then I'll flip it back over and, and tighten, finish tighten like that. Here we are going to attach the crusher part. I screw that on like this and then thread it down. Then we're going to use this ring uh, to tighten it like that. Alright, now you see it. Here's the foot pedal. We're going to install the quick air hose connections. In reality, the threads are a little sticky, but um, they don't need any Teflon or anything. I tried that and had to remove it. All right, and just tighten them all by hand first. Now we're going to use a crescent wrench. In reality, after using the crescent wrench, I used metric box end wrenches. The two quick disconnects are smaller than the uh, NPT fitting. I don't remember the titles. I think 8 millimeter and 14 or 10 and 14 or something. But I got them roughly tightened with this crescent wrench. And then uh, in a scene not captured on video, I used some box end and uh, spanners to tighten everything down. Here's this little exhaust, brass exhaust nozzle thing. We used the crescent wrench to tighten that on. That's not an essential part to be snug, airtight, or anything. It just helps to diffuse the air uh, to make a even diffused output instead of a jet of air on the floor. So there you have it. The foot pedal is ready to connect. We're going to add the right angle quick disconnect uh, hose adapters like this. And what we're going to do is set them up so that they point backwards, and you'll see why. Uh, if you look at that image of how it's supposed to be. You want the hoses routed behind the unit so you don't snag them with your hands. Here we remove the zip tie from the main hose. We're going to cut it in half like that. And then use some German scissors like this to slice the hose like that. We're going to plug one end of the hose in here like this and the other end of the hose in here like this. Then one from the right side into the right side, and from the left side into the left side, like that, and set that down. Now we see I used some brackets from the turn signals on my 2020 Yamaha MT-03 motorcycle to mount it to this 
shelf assembly in the garage where I'm going to test it. I have it mounted at a slight angle. Um, I saved all the hardware from that bracket for the turn signals and used it to securely mount it. And this is how we're going to be beta testing the unit before uh, bolting it to the wall. There's the foot pedal. Just go like this, tut tut tut. 